Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. You know, I'm gonna start right off the rip and come clean about something. I've been noticing a lot of people have been commenting down below about Lucy. So guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and be honest with you and tell you what's going on with Lucy and just, uh, just come out and tell you. But before I do that, I do have to collect a few ball python clutches. Like I mentioned, we actually have a few ball python clutches today. This girl is an absolute ripper. This is a stinger bee, which is an NG pinstripe, and she's actually bred to a pastel NG yellow belly, so should be some pretty cool babies. And it looks like mom has one little egg out right here. You can actually see the embryo through the egg right there, so that must be a pretty fresh egg, laid probably within the last couple hours. But nevertheless, look at this. Hoo -hoo. Nice, looks like one little slugger there, but a beautiful clutch, one little infertile egg, which is weird, that's been happening a lot this year. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's just weird that the, most of the clutch is fertile, but then there is one little infertile egg. We actually have a little boob egg here too, so I'm just gonna kinda get these eggs off the paper really quick. You can see they're stuck really nice. Not stuck together so much, as much as a lot of clutches, but that's completely fine. There's no doubt that none of these eggs have rolled, so I really don't have to candle anything, which is nice. Just kinda slowly pull these off, look like these three eggs will come out right here. Get this egg here and then last egg right here. Good job, mom. I tell you what, she did so well. And she's a really beautiful snake. She's got two, four, six, seven good eggs, one slug, not bad at all. And again, we could have super enchi pastel, spider, yellow bellies ridiculous they're gonna be absolutely incredible I was excited about this girl laying and she laid a beautiful clutch this next girl is actually just a beautiful pastel Let's see what she's got going on in here come on mom where you at there you are it looks like she's wrapped around a really nice beautiful clutch of eggs and she was actually bred to a calico pin yellow belly and he's an absolutely gorgeous snake again it's a pinstripe it's a calico it's a yellow belly and I tell you what producing lemon blast calico yellow bellies I produced a handful of them in the past Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. Let's see how many eggs she has. There you go, mama. Let me see what you've got going on over here. And it is really weird. We have a few infertiles uh, popping up here and there. Not really sure what that's about. We've got two little sluggers here. No big deal, but it's uh, it's definitely something that I wonder will you know go away. Sometimes you have like periods of the season where you have some infertiles, then they get fertile, then they get infertile. Usually the end of the year fertility isn't as good, to be honest with you. So the beginning of the year usually is really banging. We've had 28, 29 clutches, and they've all been pretty good so far, but it is a little interesting. And mama looks like she wants to take a shot at me, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful. Just gonna put these eggs right in over here, nuzzle them down really good. Looks like she's got two, four, five good eggs, one little boob egg, and a couple slugs. So that's the way it goes. Not really that bad of a clutch, and hopefully we'll hit that lemon blessed calico pinstripe. Then this last ball python clutch is a banger. This girl is amazing. She's actually, oh, looks like she's not quite done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put her back. Ooh. I don't wanna mess her up. She's actually a super enchi spinner and she's bred to an extreme lemon blast. Unbelievable, but she looks like she's got an egg or two left. So we'll come back later in the vlog and we'll pull this clutch. So I was doing some research last night and I found a cool chart by Dubia Roaches that shows a bunch of different nutritional content for the insects that you might be feeding to your reptiles. You guys know I love talking about varying our animals' diets here at the Reptarium, and this chart is a great visual for what I've been talking about the whole time. You might be feeding your animal something with too high a protein versus not enough fat, vice versa, a whole different combination of all those. And we like to offer variety so we make sure we're covering all of our bases, and then we also have our vitamin and calcium powder to make sure that we're not missing anything in our animal's diet. Not to mention, offering different food items will keep your animal's predatory drive healthy and stimulated. So if you're having trouble at home, with your little critter, try offering some different variety of food, the different movement, the different taste. We'll keep them stimulated and hopefully help them start eating better again.
Okay guys, I'm not gonna put this off anymore. Let's get back to the Lucy thing and just tell you the truth about what's going on with Lucy. And the truth is, she's right there. Nothing is going on with Lucy. She's completely fine. I'm not sure why all of a sudden everyone was so concerned about her because she's doing good. Yes, she did shed and destroy her cage like always. So we're gonna go ahead and get her out clean her cage up. Sorry I clickbaited you guys. I don't mean to do that, but uh, I, honestly guys, I, you know, I'm just having some fun with this, but if you don't see an animal for a few days or even a week, it just means there's not a story that I'm, I need to tell with it, right? You know, I mean, I'm kind of telling things that are happening. So when something's laying eggs or something is eating or something's doing this, I'm telling, even when she sheds, I might tell that story. But for the last week or so, she hasn't done anything. She's been sitting there opaque and shed. So uh, nothing's wrong with her. And, and I, again, I don't mean to make fun of the people that were concerned because I appreciate the fact that you were concerned about her but uh, if something like happened to her I would tell you guys uh, she is completely fine she's amazing let's go ahead and get her out clean her cage up and uh, uh, again sorry for clickbaiting you guys hopefully she's in a good mood Hey girl, what's going on? How are you? Oh, Cage is needing a little bit of a, a rehab here, bud. Uh, you're good. Okay, sweetie, come on, let's go. We'll get you in some soap. We'll get your cage all cleaned up and you'll be happy. We'll feed her a nice big old meal here in a couple days. She's gonna be loving life. You ready, girl? Come on, come on, let's go. I tell you what, walking a 20 foot snake isn't as easy as you think it is. Oh. I gotta get her out all the way out. Tell you what, work out right here. In the water, baby. In the water, oh, look. Oh, didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Let's go, let's get you a bath. She has just a little bit of stuff shed on her. Hardly nothing, to be totally honest with you. But I'll still soak her, because she usually likes the water. Today she's being a little bit weird. But uh, it'll still be good for her to get a little bit of a soak, and it kind of gets her out of my hair while I'm cleaning her cage, because obviously I can't clean her cage when she's inside of it. And now she seems to be pretty set. She'll be good, let's clean her cage. Lucy, you ready, girl? You're looking good. I tell you what, I love this girl so much. She's such an amazing snake, for sure. And I never mind you guys asking about an animal. I mean, certainly, I, I want you guys to love these animals as much as I do. I just found it funny that it was like one video had like 30 or 40 comments all about what happened to Lucy. It's almost like someone read a comment and then just assumed something happened to her and then everyone else just kind of jumped on the bandwagon like, oh, there must be something wrong with Lucy. But uh, but as you can see, she's doing very well. She's slippery as to be. Come on, girl, don't wreck the flowers. Oh, oh, back in here, back in here, girl. All right, now she's going in. I'm gonna to try to just get a little bit of the shed off. See if I can get to, just get the shed off as she's going in, just so she doesn't have any left stuck shed on her. Woo, look at that. Looking fresh. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. There you go, girl. You're looking good now fresh it could be and again right up in the tree so anyway sorry uh, again that I had to clickbait you guys I, was, I wasn't trying to make fun of you it just was you, you gave me a softball I had to hit it out of the park you know what I mean so Lucy is doing great like I said we'll get her all set up in here give her some food here in two or three days so uh there you have it, the update on Lucy. My girl Ivy, always uh, a weird one. This is day four of her being on land. Not in the water at all, not once, at least not 
that I've seen. I need to put a time lapse on her at night because I noticed the cage is always like moved around every evening, so she must really be on the go. And we just fed her, so she can't be hunting for food, but uh, this girl always keeps me guessing and I love it. Guys, I am the luckiest guy on the planet because I live what I love, but also I've got someone that supports me so much. Lori, you have been an animal lately. I mean, she's taking care of colubrids. You're working on geckos today. You're taking care of ball pythons downstairs with babies. You're putting stuff on the website. What, are you okay? <laughs> Just doing what I gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you what, you've never seen anyone work harder than Lori has this last little bit. So I promise as soon as this whole thing is over, I'm gonna take you somewhere. Where do you wanna go? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think about that right now. <laughs> well, I promise, guys, I'm going to take her on a trip or do something amazing because uh, she is just, uh, she's taken over here and I can't, I can't thank you enough. So, thank you. Guess what time it is? Colubrid egg collecting time. One day I'm going to have that Blue's Clues bumper, I promise you. This girl is actually a pretty nice little corn snake here. It's a head strawberry scaleless bred to this beautiful male right here. Take a look at that. Whoo, doggy. That is one gorgeous snake right there. That is a Silver Queen scaleless. Oh my gosh, that thing is amazing. So let's see, oh, she's got a beautiful clutch too. Wow, so we should get some really ripper babies from that. We'll go ahead and get this girl in here. We'll get some water in her, clean her shed up and everything like that. Again, after we pull the eggs, we always clean their cages. We give them fresh water. I always say it because people always uh, ask. We pull the waters a day or two before because sometimes colubrids lay their eggs in the water. All the eggs would go bad, so that's why we do that. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 beautiful eggs. Wow, that's a great way to start collecting eggs up here. Next up is another ripper of a scaleless clutch right here. This is actually an Abbott's Oka Tea Het for Scaleless, but it's bred to one of my favorite scaleless corn snakes. And of course, it's this one right here, which is an Abbott's Scaleless Oka Tea. Whew, I tell you, that male is a ripper. And there's actually another male that is just as good. Let's hope she has good eggs here. Let's go. Oh yeah, look at that. Whew doggy that is a beautiful clutch right there and a beautiful snake i mean that is just as good of a classic looking corn snake as you'll ever see and that's why that abbott's oka tea stuff is so beautiful it's really just kind of the pinnacle of a beautiful corn snake right it's what you would see in the wild no mutations no paint jobs just beautiful classic and i tell you what that is a beautiful clutch nice big eggs and a lot of them we've got two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty eggs wow twenty eggs half of those should be abbott's okity scaleless the other half abbott's okity's head for scaleless oh my god what a great clutch Let's see if this girl is done with her eggs. She should be, it's been a few hours. So let's just go ahead and get her down. Yep, and she is all done. I tell you what, that is a beautiful snake right there. Of course, that's a super enchi spinner. So it's a spider, it's a pinstripe, and it's a super enchi. And wow, look, it looks like great eggs. And the male it was bred to is ridiculous. And it's this little monkey right here, which is a enchi lemon blast extreme gene i tell you what that's going to be incredible to get this extreme gene into that along with pastel and she super and she oh my gosh it's going to be a wicked clutch let's see how many eggs she has we'll just gently take mama off her eggs and literally she just laid so these are as fresh as they could get and wow what beautiful eggs right here that's for sure there's one egg here just slowly get these eggs out of here oh what a nice clutch too. Perfect eggs and not one slug in the clutch. That's awesome. There's two, four, six beautiful eggs from that girl. Mama, you did so good. Way to go, girl. So that is awesome. And just like that, guys, we're up to 30 clutches of ball pythons. Again, we have probably another 130, 140 to go, but uh, we're, we're making some progress and it's awesome. And as Lucy always does, she's gonna hang out up in the tree for a little while. So again, Lucy is doing well. Feel free to ask me anytime about animals, but don't get concerned if you don't see something for a few days. I promise I'll keep you updated if something else goes on. By the way, if you want, you can actually see an entire playlist of animals like Lucy right here. You can also subscribe to my podcast channel called Checking In right up top. Over here, subscribe to this vlog channel if you don't mind. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Don't hate me too much. Remember to be kind. I promise I'll see you tomorrow.